in the vision, the prince that was promised, I think it settled a lot of things for people, especially the debates, to know that he actually, Damon saw a woman. It was actually the, the prince that was promised. People were saying that the prince was promised is was a word that could be male or female back then. So it was really cool to see that. And to know it wasn't Jon Snow. <laughs> I mean, I like Jon Snow, but seriously. <laughs> read the book, read the book. I did, I have read the books. So three days dancing, gunfire, and great fun. Love that. I drank a lot of that when I was in Turkey. I'm starting to theorize that Damon is the Night King. So I was thinking that Damon is the Night King too. Right? But if you've read the books, you'll know Damon is not the Night King. So unless the show decides that they want to add something crazy into it um, and deviate from the books, we don't know too much about the Night King anyway, but he was not a Targaryen. I don't think. No, he wasn't Targaryen. But we know he isn't the Night King, even got our showed the Night King made. Yes. Why is there so many negative? Why is there so much negativity to the final? All I see on socials are people saying bad things. Well, two things, two reasons. Audience, audiences, audiences don't like cliffhangers because um, we all have short attention spans and the way we get our media and stuff we want we want it and we want it now so we don't like cliffhangers and then I think a lot of people forgot that it was a dialogue driven show and wanted to see more action but I also think that's like yeah so I think those two things I think that's why like like some, for me I think there's too many action movies in Hollywood and it's because people want action right so they make a lot of shitty action movies, but it's so I think a lot of people are just bummed. Drunken Brent, thank you for the gifted. Drunk Brent, thank you so much for the gifted. I'm good. It was such an obvious cliffhanger. I knew I knew at the start of the show we weren't going to see any battles. I would it would have been nice to see Dreamfire. It would have been nice, but it was really cool to see a new dragon at the very end. Um, I forget the dragon's name. I got three minutes and thirty seconds. Fuck yeah, it's me. Love that. Love the accountability. You want action? I'll just start streaming my normal day to day. More horror movies. I haven't seen actually good horror movie in years. Okay. I think there's a really good horror movie coming out. I forget the name, but I think it's going to be really good. Um, gosh, let me, let me Google. Um, what, what was the newest, um, the songbird? Okay. Ballad of the Songbird. Whoever play, played Tigress. Do you guys know who played Tigress in Ballad of the Songbird? Because <sighs> I'm going to find you. I'm going to find the new movie that I think is going to be really good. I think it's going to be a great horror movie. I don't really mind cliffhangers as long as the resolution is presented in a reasonable length of time, but not a whole season between. Yeah, what I'm hoping is I'm hoping that um, they don't give us like years in between. I really miss the day of TVs where they would give us like seasons back to back and they would give us a full list of shows like more than eight was really nice. Rhaenyra's Dragon. Yes, yeah, Sheep Stealer. There we go. Hey, all right, Kate. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping is hopefully it was all the writer's strike. I miss like a good 20 episode season. Me too. Like, can we have that? It'll be a two year wait, I think, for next season. I don't think they're gonna wait two years. Absolutely not. I think that if they know if waiting two years would be slowing would be um would be 
literally losing momentum. You got so many people invested in the second season where if you wait two years, you're going to lose momentum. Okay, who is, what's the girl's name in Ballad of the Songbird? I want to show you guys this trailer. Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Cast. Yes. I forget what the movie is called, but, oh, Hunter Schaefer. Here we go. Hunter Schaefer. Okay, so I went and I saw a horror movie and I went and saw Long Legs. And um, I saw the trailer for this. Oh. I saw the trailer for this and I think it's going to be a really, really, really good horror movie when it comes out. So let's see, I'll show you guys. I think there's been like Maxine. Maxine was great. Pearl. It's just a different type of horror. But I think there has been some horror movies. Long Legs was good. And it was a good thriller, but it definitely didn't land as horror for me.